Jessie V, and as you can tell by the title of today's video, today we're going to be talking about the purple crayon. And I honestly think this might be the scariest one yet. I also just realized we're talking about a purple crayon and I have a purple background and I'm wearing purple in my shirt. This was completely unintentional, but I love it. And as you can see, I do have a new backdrop behind me. I really love it. It reminds me of like iridescent mermaid scales or something. So of course, because I love mermaids, I was just drawn to it. But that means I'll be announcing the winner of last month's backdrop. That contest was directly on YouTube and the winner is Willow Draws, so congratulations. And thank you so much to everyone who entered and supported my book channel. I know I don't post a ton on there. I eventually wanna be posting like consistently. It's gonna take me some time, but I will get there. All right guys, so if you wanna win this new backdrop behind me, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jessie V channel, turn on your notification bell and then head over to my Instagram. It is also also Jessie V, follow me there and send me a DM telling me what color your mermaid scales would be using only an emoji. So the emoji that you choose, all those colors within the emoji would be the colors of your mermaid scale. Does that make sense? I'm also gonna include a bonus entry this month. So you don't have to do this part, but if you do, you will get entered twice. So for your second entry, go and follow my Goodreads profile. Goodreads is basically an app where you can sign up and review books it's totally free, but I have an account on there and I currently have 282 friends. So if you add me as your friend on Goodreads, I will accept you and that will be your second entry. I'll put a link to my Goodreads profile down below in the description. I also just wanna thank everyone who's been sending me super thanks in the comments. You guys are absolutely amazing and I'm just so grateful to have your support. And once again, I will be answering every single super thanks comment. No matter how long it takes me, I will get back to you. So thank you so much. All right guys, so without further do let's get right into today's video <laughs> I swear I only ever sneeze when I'm filming. So whenever I do like a really popular video, I usually get hundreds if not thousands of DMs on my Instagram, all from you guys telling me your specific experiences of whatever topic I was talking about. And because I've had sort of a creepy crayon series going on on this channel, I got messages from a lot of you guys about different color crayons and your scary experiences. But the other day I came across one about a creepy purple crayon and I just had to come on here and tell you the story. Maybe we'll eventually get through all the crayon colors. So this is a story from one of my subscribers named Mia. She wants her last name to remain anonymous along with her username, but she did give me permission to tell this story. This happened to her three years ago while she was babysitting a little girl named Caitlin. On Mia's first day babysitting Caitlin, her parents told her that she loved to draw and practically drew all day long. Apparently she wanted to be an artist when she grew up and her parents said that she was quite good. Good. So Mia set up some paper and some crayons in front of the TV so they can do art while watching a movie. But what was strange is that just before Caitlin's parents left for their date night, they pulled Mia aside and they told her that if anything got out of hand with Caitlin's drawing, that she had to take the paper and crayons away immediately. And obviously Mia was super confused by what they meant, but she just sort of went along with it. So the evening was going really well at first. They were both watching Frozen and drawing different things. Things. Caitlin was drawing flowers and dogs and her friends at school and Mia was drawing giant trees with colorful falling leaves and they did this for a couple hours and her parents were right she really did love to draw and she could do this forever but suddenly Mia noticed that Caitlin had abruptly stopped coloring it was like suddenly she had just completely froze in place and was staring at the wall on the other side of the room so Mia asked her if she was okay but Caitlin didn't respond so she she began worrying that maybe it was some sort of serious medical issue because why was this little girl just staring and not responding? So she began to lightly tap her once again asking if she was okay. And then Caitlin slowly turned her head back to her paper and grabbed the purple crayon. She began drawing with the purple crayon and her hand was moving so fast that Mia thought it almost looked inhuman. And she was pressing down so hard on the paper that it looked like it was about to rip in pieces. And Mia sat there in shock 
as she watched what Caitlin was drawing. It was a picture of a man's face, but he didn't look normal at all. He almost looked like an alien or humanoid in some way, and he had a long skinny face, white eyes, and this large gaping mouth that looked like he was screaming in pain. Like no child would just normally draw stuff like this. So Mia remembered what her parents said and grabbed the purple crayon from her hand and took the picture she had just drawn, and she folded it up and put it in her pocket. Caitlin said nothing, and after that she just walked over to the couch, sat down, and continued watching the movie. So when Caitlin's parents got home, Mia pulled them aside and told them what happened, and she even showed them the picture that Caitlin drew with the purple crayon. And the creepy thing was, the parents didn't even seem surprised whatsoever. Instead, they just shook their head and told Mia that that's what they were worried about. Apparently, their daughter had been randomly drawing what she called the purple man for the past six months, and she claimed that this purple man would constantly visit her. And she just went into this trance whenever she saw him and would immediately start drawing him. Maybe it was to prove he was there, or maybe the purple man was like forcing her into this trance to draw him, which is almost creepier. So Mia babysat her two more times, but because it kept happening, she decided to stop going to their house because she was honestly just too spooked. And apparently she still thinks about that little girl to this day, and she has no idea if she's still seeing this purple man, if she's still drawing this purple man. And yeah, I was just so shocked when I saw this girl's DM. And whether it's just a creepypasta she wrote or something she actually experienced, it's still super spooky. And I don't even know what I would do if I was in that situation. And you guys know I've had some pretty crazy babysitting stories, but this one tops it. So because I was so fascinated with this whole purple man creature, I decided to go online and research to see if he appears anywhere else in history, in folklore, in creepypastas, have other kids been seeing him? And the answer is yes. I actually found a lot of people who had claimed to see this purple man in their lives. And I also found like a lot of pages on Five Nights at Freddy's. I guess there's like a purple man character in the game. I'm sorry, I wouldn't know. I don't play and I'm sorry. But I found another story about a boy that complained to his parents about seeing the purple man at his school. He said that whenever he went to his locker in the morning and would look down the hall, he would see a tall purple man with white eyes and a long open mouth just staring at him. And none of the other kids in the hallway would see this purple man. They would just pass by him as if nothing was wrong. Some people would even walk through him. So just showing that he's an apparition of some sort. And this happened for months and it got to the point where this poor boy didn't want to go to the locker hallway anymore. So he just carried all of his books and his coats with him everywhere, which would be so awful. But yeah, I guess the purple man is a thing somehow. If you guys have ever seen the purple man or heard of him, please comment down below. But if you want me to continue this creepy crayon series, you guys definitely would have to send me your scary stories on Instagram because I don't know if I could find any more in my research, but I will try. But give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you like this crayon series. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!